good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to A Brilliant Businesses podcast. I'm Nick Bryant, and I'm at the Charles Cox Property Group, and I'm with Anna Ingram. Hi, Anna. Hello. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you. <laughs> good, good. Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> now, Anna is Head of Property Management I here am, at Charles um, Cox Property Group, and we would like you to say exactly what that means and what you do here. Uh, so I oversee the team of property managers. Okay. We've got two at the moment and counting more coming along. Um, and I guess just oversee new business inquiries, um, take the calls and the emails where people want to speak to the manager, okay. um, sort of generally push things along all of our compliance and et cetera, and make sure the insurances are in place yeah. and, yeah, so that's my role here. Lots of legislation you have to make sure is Absolutely. there and um, rules yeah. that you have to abide by. Uh, exactly right, yeah. yeah the government yeah. likes throwing them at us. <laughs> they <laughs> so, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so have you got a background in that? Is that how you, you've learned on the job? Have you? Or um, how does that work? So I started out working for a housing association 10 years ago um, okay. and worked for a few years as a housing officer um, for supported housing. Okay. So vulnerable adults, teenage parents, older people, mental health. Um, for certain reasons, they shut our offices, the funding got cut, um, moved us far away. I then, um, saw it coming basically that everyone was going to be made redundant. Okay. So jump ship and yeah. landed in the private sector in housing. And I've been doing that ever since. Okay. So yeah, I've been doing property management in the private sector now for eight years, seven years. Okay. And what, yeah. do, you, what do you like about it? Though? Um, I like helping people to yeah, be honest with you yeah, yeah. To be, I, I think i think anyone in this industry the property management industry or estate agents or letting agents we get mm. a bad rap yeah um and you're already on the back footer i find sometimes when you turn up to places mm. so i quite enjoy being the person that's going to help them and yeah. then realizing that not everyone's that bad in the industry <laughs> and actually we are human and we've got houses of and course yeah we've had leaks and yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah, I okay. like turning people's opinions around, I guess. Yeah, no, nice, yeah. nice, good job satisfaction. Yeah. Uh, now, Charles Cox has got three offices, I, I believe. So what does this offer your clients? How does this help your clients? Um, well, so the offices span, um, we've got the Eastbourne office, which is a small office. Yeah. We've got the New Haven branch, which is sort of our main office, so mm -hmm. right in the centre. Which is where we are now. Um, where we are now. Yep. Um, and then we've also got a little office um, over Brighton Way, more more Hove actually. It is um, Hove actually. Yes. Uh, it's more Hove. <laughs> um, and so it sort of means we can take properties on from that side to that side, anywhere in between and above. Yeah, yeah. And those people have always got someone to go to. Yeah. Um, it also, I think, saves people money because of where the keys are. Okay. So, for example, if you're sending someone over to Worthing, they're not having to go all the way to Eastbourne to get the keys. Yeah. Paying for their travel time to go all the way back over. So, um, I think that's beneficial as mm, well. Mm. And obviously, staff-wise as well. You can, yeah. You can pull people in from elsewhere areas, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so yeah it's so the properties that you've got also are within within the sussex area but going up a little bit north as yeah, well yeah, yeah yeah we've got we've got a couple of properties even in london have you that we okay. manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so uh, uh, having those three flagships mm. it sort of means that we can dive and dart off anywhere and they can come see us and see yeah. the face as well any plans for any more that you know of any for any more um, 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 offices? offices yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. I mean, no. further up into London, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, but, maybe. Yeah, you well, never know. Talk you to never Matt about know. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one for the MD. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll exactly. find out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you'll get landed on you. By the way, <laughs> yeah. you've got to manage another office. Okay, yeah. thanks very much. <laughs> Excellent. Um, let's talk about the difference um, between the Charles Cox Property Group and and other property management um, businesses. You know, what makes you different? Um, well, um, I've not been here terribly long. Okay. Um, personally, as I mentioned, I come from a um, supported housing background. Yeah. Okay. So I am very much into the human touch. Yeah. Um, and that aligns with Charles Cox. Okay. Yeah. Matt actually started the company, I understand, because he was fed up with managing agents, putting up scaffolding one week, paying for loads of works, taking it all down again. And then yeah. they're sat there and still got water on their heads. So mm. he set it up with good intentions as a person who is on the other side of it okay yeah, so yeah. a little bit more adaptable sounds like the, most yeah yeah whereas i think a lot of managing agents and we almost taught it to be fair to be like hard line no no or yes mm. there is always a gray area mm. wherever you look 
in life and property management is no different. So yeah. the way that we work here is we kind of try and work around them and it's not just flat out no. We try and go, well, how can we help you get there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can help you get there. Here are the risks. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to listen to the risks. We'll go ahead and we'll do it. We'll do it how you want to do it. Okay. Yeah, Whereas yeah. there's a lot of managing agents that just sort of get frightened and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. If you don't change that door, then we're going to have to give up the management. Yeah, yeah, it's their way or the highway kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. I don't think it's their fault. I think it's um, fear-mongering, really, in the industry. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You lose that that human touch, I I guess, and that's what you like about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Being nice to people, right? friendly, exactly. Yeah, Yeah, that's why I like the job. I like being the person to help, so it's nice being part of a company that resonates that as well I guess. Mm. Yeah. so how many um people do you look after uh, um at the moment i've got um three members in my team and there's another two more coming so we'll be five okay we're, right we're right because charles scott's group is growing and growing isn't it it yeah. is yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, it's getting, doing good things. we're getting lots of inquiries yeah it's really yeah, cool our name's getting round and mm. I, yeah like i said i think it's that i think our name gets round because of the setup mm. and the way that, that matt our md the way that he works mm. and the way that he is with people um, like we've got a three tier uh, pricing, so bronze, silver, or gold. Yes. Because mm, a building of two flats isn't going to need the same amount of management as a building with a hundred flats. Of and course, yeah. He yeah. understands that, so yeah. he's built the pricing structure to sort of accommodate that. To, to match that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. good. Yeah. Well, that's great, Anna. Um, head of property management. It sounds like a um. Sounds like a very important role. And, yeah. uh, so, I mean, head of anything is an important role. Yeah, uh, yeah, So yeah, good yeah. on you. Oh, good on you. thank you. Um, so th- thanks for talking to us about property management. Um, the, this is this these sort of podcasts that we're doing. It sort of replaces blogs um, on, on websites and just lets people know. Um, on a monthly basis, you know, what you guys are getting up yeah. to and how you do things differently yeah, uh, hopefully yeah. promotes the business. Yeah, so, it's, good. Um, it's good. I hope that um, if anyone wants to, if anyone wants to talk to, to you, Anna, about um, um, property management, they can just get in touch via the website Absolutely. to work with Charles Cox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. If okay. they ask for me, if they want us to manage their building or okay. if they want to find out some information, then yep. yeah, more than happy to help. Get in touch with Anna. Get in touch with okay. Anna. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much, and um, we'll um, we'll catch you for another podcast Lovely. soon. Thank you, Anna. Thank you Thank very you. much. Cheers. Cheers.